Welcome in fam. If you are new or just passing through my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you are returning, welcome back squad. Here today to do another general collective reading. I've already started to lay the cards out. Um, very distinctive story. I do have somebody here who's kind of contemplating. They're contemplating um, spinning a block. And I think part of their dilemma is that they've been doing a lot of extra behind the scenes and they're a little bit concerned about approaching you to tell you how they feel or to tell you about whatever they've been doing because they already see that your guards are up. Um, they see that your guards are up. And, and, and honestly, you're in the energy of like, if you're not coming here to speak to me about the truth, if you're not here with like full disclosure, I don't have nothing to do with you. Because right now they're, yeah, right now somebody's feeling left out in the, in the cold because you pulled your energy back because of their lies. I literally was going to say that. It's funny because I'm looking at the bottom. I'm looking at the cards as I'm, I'm pulling. I have a second deck. So I have one whole spread of one deck. And now I'm clarifying it with a second deck. But it's funny because as these cards are coming out, they're the same cards that are at the bottom of the first deck. Because I already looked at the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so this story is real loud. So basically somebody just told lies. They took their time. Um, they don't necessarily want to take responsibility for what they've done. There is third party energy. This person is from your past. There could be children involved. Right now they're feeling on the outs because you've turned your back or you've withdrawn your energy. And mostly because I do feel like you already either intuitively knew or you got, you know, you got wind that they were doing something else, some extras. And based on what you understand, based on the understanding of truth as you see it, you may see two very different circumstances or have two very different sets of truths in front of you that you have to truly make a decision on in order to move forward. Um, part of it is some, there is some underlying fear because it's there's stagnation here, but part of the stagnation, it, it's a little bit of hesitation and fear because you're afraid of making the wrong choice. But somebody is feeling left out in the cold. And then what's interesting about it is that whenever I use this deck, when the, the Ten of Cups comes out, there's three people on this card. You, me, and she. <laughs> there's three people on this card. So even though this person may want to approach you and tell you how they feel and want some type of, you know, fruitful, abundant beginning with you, they still are unwilling to take responsibility for their actions, especially if they had you in third party energy in the past. But now somebody wants to come, and I'm not even showing that this person wants to come in and apologize. I don't see an apology anywhere. But what I do see is that, and this could be you, collective you could be in the energy of like not wanting to you know i'm not even really interested in the fight because i don't want this i literally feel like whatever this relationship was i don't feel like you're fighting for it somebody's not fighting for it like i'm i'm just done and i'm pulling my energy back i see that twice here i'm pulling my energy back and i'm electing to go on a new journey to seek my expansion elsewhere. And the person here who has been lying, the person here that's connected to your past, the person here who's been spreading it kind of thin amongst other people, because I do have third party energy, this person here, this person does not act with integrity. And it's kind of interesting because every, I've done a lot of readings today and every reading that I've done, um, the, the counterparts are always lopsided. So I always get a set of counterparts on the board or two, but there's always one side of it that's completely distorted. Um, and while this energy, this energy comes across as somebody who's dishonest. They come across as dishonest. They come across as codependent. They want what you have and they, and they don't want to have to work for it. They want to... A 
amass the wealth and the and the notoriety and the security of whatever it is that you're doing. I definitely feel like there's someone here who is they're losing their stability because of the lies. Somebody here in and it's karmic justice because I have justice in the upright and judgment in the reverse. So there is something here that is like there's a karmic cycle here. There's definitely. I'm getting like somebody also there's a lack of acceptance. There's somebody here who's lost hope. They're very unhappy. And I feel like they're unhappy mostly because you've erected your boundaries. Somebody here has discovered their worth. Congratulations. Someone here has discovered their worth and is now erecting their boundaries because ugh, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm just literally hearing this. Like, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm tired of not being happy. I'm tired of not being abundant. And this person, whoever is, has been unhappy and waiting for their new start, waiting, you know, been working. Somebody here may have been even working really diligently towards trying to like amass their abundance, like working really hard to, to try to create that. And I have all this, this like interference energy. And I feel like it was meant to make you feel like really low and ma meant to make you lose hope. Right? Hmm. Okay, let's grab some more cards. Something is coming to an end. Could definitely have something to do with a family dynamic. Does not necessarily. Um, but it's a timely change and it is a major ending that is necessary. It's supposed to take place, okay? Someone is starting to recognize that this connection from the past has got to end. In order for you to restore the joy and harmony and balance in your life, something's got to give. Okay, this person may be, you may, okay, this person that wants to come and tell you how they feel or the one that's, they're, they're deeply attracted to you. Um... I feel like this person, okay, not only do they want to tell you how they feel, I kind of feel like somebody wants to bring you a gift. They want to shower you with some kind of affection, so it's kind of giving me love bomb. Um, yeah, so somebody here, somebody's home life has definitely been turned upside down there's like a lack of stability here um routine has been you know jumbled uh, permanence has definitely been called into question or whether or not this relationship or foundational situation is going to be reliable you may have pulled your energy back because you started to recognize that there's been either losses continual losses um Continual losses over time. Okay. So I have somebody here who could have been lying online. Online specifically, I'm getting. Like, um, spreading rumors online or something like that. This is about using your intuition. Using your intuition. Using your intuition to guide you forward. But some woman here, woman, specifically a woman, may be getting justice. Yeah, so somebody's made a decision. They don't want to argue anymore. It's I kind of feel like it's just best to take the leap of faith. Yeah, they're only they're gonna take this whoever this is. They're taking the leap of faith, which is going to require some separation in a relationship because I do feel like they're only. 
I think I feel like the focus, the focal point is really loyalty, being around people or only dealing with people who you feel are loyal to you or who have been loyal to you. Because I definitely see somebody here who has not been loyal. And I feel like whoever this is, somebody is taking a leap of faith to move away from something, to move towards loyalty, to move towards situations that are loyal. Mm-hmm. Because it's been nothing but ongoing arguments. Repetitive arguments. Gossip. Didn't I say somebody might be do, spreading gossip, spreading things online? Specifically gossip. And if they're finding, if they're, if they're now in a space of, um, whew, that's a lot. Okay, so I have somebody here who may have been like gossiping because the thing is they're super pissed off and they're 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 mad because you know things may not be working out in their favor. But the thing is, it's karma for whatever maybe they have been spreading, whatever lies they may have spread to other people or told to other people, like in social settings about you. You may be getting information about that. There could be something about a home that you might be finding out. You're going to get that information quick. It's coming soon. Something about a home. Okay. Loss of money or assets. So there, again, there could be something about a home. Loss of money. Somebody could be losing a home or losing money. Okay, these three. If somebody's going through their spiritual awakening. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody's getting tarot readings. Somebody here is unbothered because why return to sender? We also have somebody here who is maybe dealing with some alcoholic issues, alcoholism. Somebody needs a lawyer or is going to need a lawyer. Somebody is stuck in the past. Okay. We have a con artist out here. Somebody says, I have regrets for what I've done. Everything backfires. Somebody's baby mama. So you could be a baby mama or somebody has their baby mama out here. There's new love or new person or cycle that's coming in. Somebody's trying to affect your crown chakra to confuse you. Somebody may be suffering from bad health. Somebody says, I've always hated you because you are blessed and they knew the truth the whole time. So you have somebody here in your camp that's a traitor that has zero authenticity. Hmm. Okay. Take these. Hills, obstacles to overcome. Well, family wishes come true. We like it. Tankers, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Pineapple, reconciliation. Remember, reconciliation does not mean reunion. Okay? Reconciliation is simply just an acknowledgement of what has taken place, acceptance of what's happened in the past, fist bump and walk away. Okay? Or go into a new cycle. That choice is yours. We all have free choice. Then we have dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. We've seen that energy repeatedly in these stories. Okay. Somebody here may be emotionally imbalanced or just like totally all over the place. Um, this has been an ongoing cycle. And this cycle has like run out of time or the cycle has come to an end. Time has stopped. Something is being released because they won't change. You achieve the ending of this cycle. Okay, again, somebody doesn't want to change, but they also don't want to heal. And you see it. That's being illuminated. You're seeing how someone doesn't want to change. Yeah. This has come to an end. Literally, every reading I've done, I'm getting the same kind of cards. It doesn't matter what deck I pull. It's literally like as soon as you break this cycle, as soon as you stop it. 
as soon as you get a, a handle on your emotions and put a stop to the cycle and start to heal, you will achieve the healing and you will get the wealth. But first, you got to get rid of this situation that's in your life that needs to go. Yeah, it's time to open your eyes. It's time to wake up and see how complicated this has gotten and it doesn't need to be. The relationship is over. There's no more fashion. There's no more fire. There's no more agreements. There's no more seeing eye to eye. Definitely here, somebody who does not want to do the work to make the change and transformation. All right, let's grab some truth cards before we wrap up. Ooh. All right, we have pause before acting, repeating the past, cycles, remember, cycles, deepening bond, autumn, long distance, red flags, weight, and balancing act. The number 15 is very significant here. Again, I have 15, 15 could be of significance. April 3rd or April 17th could be of significance. We have childish, it's you, not them, family issues, confusion throwing shade, imbalance, and open your heart. 616 could be a synchronicity, 414, 44, 144, or 1444. May 15th, 4th, May 14th or 15th may be of significance. May 17th may be of significance. April 14th, April 12th, May 16th, May 12th, May 19th may all be of significance. Okay. And let's grab a couple of romance angels cards. I never use this deck. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And really, for me, this passion card really talks to me about tapping back into the things or doing the things that really bring you happiness and make you happy. Like, that's where the passion comes from, by doing things that make you happy. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love on you. If the person that you're dealing with or the people that you're dealing with can't love on you the way you love yourself, they can't love you better than you love yourself, what reason do you have them? What reason do you have them in your life? Like, I literally tell this to all people all the time. If you're dealing with people who can't reciprocate your energy, if they can't love on you, the way that you love yourself, it literally starts with you. You got to love yourself first. And if you don't love yourself like 500% and the person that you're dealing with can't match that energy, don't even bother dealing with them because you'll never be satisfied. You will always feel a sense of lack. If they can't love you better than or at least at par where you love yourself, okay? We don't have room for that kind of people, for those kind of people in our lives. We just really don't, all right? I'm going to leave it there, folks. Um, if any parts of this reading resonated for you, gave you clarity on your own situation, please give the video a thumbs up so that we can circulate it to those who need the messages the most. Um, if you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information can be found below in the description box. My books are always open. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Please ring the notification bell so that you know when my new videos upload. And until next time, I will see you later. Take care.